Hello to all of you. Welcome to our hands session today. It's two hands full. And this week will also be our last week of doing the live session. So let's fully enjoy today and Thursday and let's see what's going on afterwards. My name is Patricia Caroline May. I'm a dancer and choreographer working here at Kampnagel in Hamburg on my solo work Control. I am in this place right now alone, but not alone at all with me since September because I'm doing a nine month project, a nine month self experiment about a heaving and Andronicus body. And in big help and favor with me is Patrick Rum, my sports scientist and coach and trainer that is right now live with us here as well in this moment. Hello Patrick, hello to Berlin. Happy to hear you soon. Let's see what's going on today. Let's see what kind of questions are coming up today. And let's see what we are doing today. Last week, last Thursday, we talked about doing gender, about the diverse body. And today I want to talk to you about this work, about the title of this work. And this is Control. It's written with a K. And uh, because I would actually really like uh, to play around with words and with meanings. And in this way, the meaning of the words is the meaning of the whole process. It's about how to achieve control. Control in a way of physical strength, in a way of how can I control of what I'm eating, but the most important, how can I actually achieve control in my muscles, in my way of working and in my way of receiving and feeling my own body. So control, it's not just a title, but it is actually a whole philosophy in terms of training uh, ideas. So uh, with Patrick, I talked a lot when we started uh, to work in September about what are my goals. He asked me, what do you want to achieve? And I find out with him that in the whole idea of training and of building a structure for this nine months, it's all about to, to see where we are going to and to really chapter all of these months and all of these weeks in order to have a goal where we are going to. So to achieve the control in your body, to achieve the power and the strength in your muscles, we made a plan and we made a strong structure in order to work on the body for nine months. So um, it's actually, I receive it like this in, in all my conversations that I'm having with people right now about this process, is that in a way we all have the desire to have control in, in order to have a structure in our life, in order to feel safe, to, to really know, it, it can be day by day, that you know, that you know what you're doing, that you know where do you want to go to within one week, where do you want to go to in one month, where do you want to go this year, where next year. I believe that all people have the desire of knowing what they're doing and of, of having this um, security in your way of how you structure your life, but in this way how you structure your body or your training or whatever you are working on. It's um, yeah, to have this plan and to see how can you achieve and also make this plan come true. So um, I decided in this, in this self-experiment that it is about to reorganize my body in a healthy way, in a way that is going uh, through a controlled way of nutrition in order to change my eating habits and in order to make an androgynous body that is um, something that I desired uh, for the last years in order to really uh, change something radically like to cut hair, to, to change the, 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 the structure of muscles but also to change ideas in, in my mind of how far and how intense can I actually really organize my body. Is it possible to achieve control with the body? How can um, uh, my mind actually um, um, like support this idea? Is my mind going somewhere else than my body? Like that's why I always say it's an experiment. It's 
like to try if it's possible. And um, I feel very much that it's um, now that we are in the eighth month of this project, now it's April, that um, in, in the rehearsal, because we want to work and we do work since one month on the piece, on the performance in the end, is that it's, um, it's more hard for me at the moment to really give up, like to, to, to lose uh, the control and to be free in my movement. It's really interesting because of all the time that we work in the mask, that we having a schedule, that we, that we put on 60 kilos on my body, where I needed to learn in order to not just carry my own weight, but to carry more weight than my own body weight, is that I, I got a strong contract uh, with Patrick together in order to really be able to control my body, to put energy and also um, oxygen to the right spots in order to really keep on holding, keep on pressing in those exercises. And now I have to redo all of this with a memory of this uh, strength experience in order to find the freedom again in my movement. And that's actually my task at the moment. So my whole team is always like, Kathy, let go, like try to lose all of the strength and work with the strength. And actually you just have to stand there and it looks already so, although you're not really pumping your muscles. So that's right now a really tricky uh, point and it's very funny. Um, to, to learn again how to let go within, um, within muscle structures and also in the way of moving. And still, because people keep on asking me also, like, you see that you are having such a strong uh, control schedule and you have to train six hours a day and, and you have to rehearse and it seems everything is like so much in control and there's no freedom. And I'm always saying, you know, I, um, I see it completely opposite. Since the moment that we have this plan and that we build the structure of this nine months, I, I, I have a structure and I have the knowing of what I'm doing. But within this, I'm completely free. I can, I, I can decide um, that I want to do it at all. I can say at any time I want to stop. I can say any time I want to change the nutrition or I want, I want to change the topic in the rehearsal. So I always describe it that it's for me very much freedom in order to know my structure, to know where I want to go to, and then to uh, to play with it. Yeah, and um, so I'm I'm feeling within this control that I uh, gain all of the freedom in my way of moving my my body, in knowing and getting to learn this concept of being very much in control and of the letting go, and also. To, um, to know that as we are right now in this pandemic, in this way of everything is actually upside down, like we don't uh, know what's going on tomorrow, we don't know how long are we still staying in this circumstance, in this situation, is that within this, in order to not completely lose yourself and not knowing anymore, you find this structure of continuing and that will help you in order to continue also working on your body, having a structure of the day, having a structure of the week, in order to put yourself into the, the moment of continuing, yeah? in the moment of, of being flexible with your body, but also to listen to yourself, like listening in your way of exercising, but also in your way of walking outside in nature, like, or in the streets, like, what are you doing? How are you doing it? How long do you want to do it? It's always good to, to have the structure in order to know where you're going to. And then also in this instable situation that we, in, that we are all in right now, and also for me, by getting to know at the beginning of last week, okay, you cannot do your premiere on 27th of May, like needing to see, okay, what am I, what am I doing now? Am I still continuing? How am I continuing? Where are we shifting this day? Am I continuing another five months in order to train this body? It's like I, I find out that my goal was in order to keep everything the same as it was and to see what's coming now and not just to stop and to give up. So actually on Thursday I will let you know in our last uh, session when we will do this premiere of control. I can tell you already that uh, we keep on working the following months. Actually 27th is today, 27th of April. And in one month exactly from today, 27th of 
May, we will finish this work and we will have it ready and I'm burning to, to let it out and to show it and to present it and also to let go of it. <laughs> so, talking about control, talking about pleasure in working out, I want to work out with you within the next 20 minutes. So we start again with a nice warming up and with exercises that Patrick prepared for you and also for me. I actually didn't really do them yet, they are new for me too, so let's do them new together, okay? So after the warm up, um, I will do a crisscross warming up where you uh, get warm into your joints. So maybe let's start already like walking and stepping on your spot while I'm still talking, so to get a little bit into moving. Keep on breathing and also already keep on opening your chest. So, Patrick, thank you for um, giving me these new exercises. Actually, um, imagining the new premiere, imagining this body. It's also today in the exercise very much about imagining. We will start the first exercise by imagine. We have a ball in front of us. You maybe know this from boxing. I can, I never did it, but I'm just imagining this ball in front of me. And that with my arms, I want to draw very small circles, I do it a bit lower so for you to see, it's like really very tiny and strong soft circles around your fists and you keep them above your head in order to like really make it fast but your feet are of course not standing still, you will keep on walking, keep on stepping, working your ankles and your whole feet and keep on coordinating these circles above your head, okay? So don't shrink in your shoulders, <laughs> let there be a distance between the ears and the shoulders and then keep on punching, okay? First exercise, punching the ball. Second one, we take out the imaginative rope, okay? So you have the idea of skipping, you take your feet really close together, like squeeze them. You, like for me it's easier, I find out like let's take the, let's take the hands, but you want to work your ankles like tucking up, okay? Squeeze your legs, squeeze your toes and have the imaginative rope. You can also play around in like letting your hands loose, but I have the feeling it's nice to work those arms as well. So maybe you draw these circling hands as well in there. Second exercise done. Third one, um, it's a lunge. So you take a fixed uh, feet, you come down into a lounge position with your knee. The easier version is you come back up and you go back down. Yeah, that's the easier version. So you skip front and back, front and back. The more extended version, you stay low, like you have the centered center, a <laughs> focus strong center, and you stay low and you shift. Okay, shift front, shift back. Um, for me, I, I think it's again also that I take my hands maybe in this kind of capoeira mode, <laughs> like I'm still shifting, but see if you want to uh, let them fix, it's nice too, okay? Stay on the same leg all the time, on the same foot. Later on, of course, you change to the other one. This was the third one. The fourth one, you know I love the twist, we did it already a lot of times in the warm-up. Today we do it a bit different. We open the legs 45 degrees and we shift. And automatically, actually you don't have to think about it, your arms go opposite direction. Yeah? Ha, 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 so stay more or less 45 degrees. On my head it's a bit too much, so come a bit more this way and then check. You have the twist, okay? There, have a good fixed point that you're not like all over the place and you're getting lost. Have your fixed point and then twist those hips. The fifth one, it's the beginning again. Yes, we do it one minute in this way, but I come to that after. It's the measurement ball again. So take your feet, take arms above you, in over your head and like really make small and fast circles like really let the arms work okay we do everything in 30 seconds one 30 seconds two 30 seconds 
three, 30 seconds, what was number four? That was number five. Yeah, taking the lower one and then taking the twist, okay? Taking the twist, number four. Number five, going again into the ball. That's the five. We do it another time as the one, so it's one minute taking the ball into consideration. Don't destroy your setting. If you have any questions, if you want to leave comments, please, Patrick, the sports scientist, my coach and support is with us right now. Ask him questions. Stay even longer in the line and ask him whatever you want, whatever you need. And we start right now with the warm-up. And the warm-up, it's very easy. You come to and you take hands to the knee. We do it everything eight times, okay? Easy first round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your arms with you. Diagonal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diagonal to the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more time, parallel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, easy, seven, eight, feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know me, it's getting faster. Let's come into a little jogging. And we have five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, diagonal, one, two, take your arms, three, four, five, six, seven, to the feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, take your legs with you, we do the third round, even faster, okay, come with me, take your legs up, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more time, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay down, stay low, control your center, 
Good. Control your bars. Balance. Good. Check your arms. Nice center. Strong back. Fourth one. We take the twist. Skip. Come. Twist. Twist. Where's your focus point? Open your legs. Good. Take your butt with you. Good. Fifth one. Easy legs. But walk with them. Uh, hands about your head. Circling. Circling. Tight. Small circles. Come on. Control your ankle that is now in the left leg, in your left foot. Stay low. Stay low. Good. Fourth round. Twist. Take your arms opposite. Good. Fifteen more seconds. Good. Come on. Twist. Twist. Take your butt and squeeze. Good. We take this one. Take the first ball into your gaze and circle. Breathe. Don't slow down with your feet. Take them up. 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 Fist. Let's go back to one, 30 seconds, and continue. Breathe. Take your hands up. Don't go down, stay up. Work those arms. Active head, feet, active legs. Skipping row. Feet together. Breathe. Put them like a pencil. Put the legs really together. Feet, feet, feet. Work those ankles. Good. Breathe. Come on. Smile. It's easy. Work those feet. <laughs> Good. Complain to Patrick, please, if you have complaints. Third one, right leg, <laughs> come down, 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 control your arms, check, check, down, stay on the same level if you can, if you can, otherwise go up and down, okay, but maybe you can do it, stay engaged with your center, good, feel the butt is working, that was already the next one, so take the twist. Check, check, check. Twist with me. Good. Twist, twist, twist. Take the arms opposite. Five more seconds. Easy, come. Work those legs, feet, come on. Tight circles. Don't stay on the floor with the feet, come on. Up, 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 up. Circling tight around the 
Maybe you want to change direction. Another 30 seconds. Come on. Work your feet. Up, 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 up. Keep them small. Keep the circling small. No, we do another one. Come on, 30 seconds. I have my clock in front of me. Come on, take your rope. Pencil feet together, tight. Good. Think of your doubles. Think of your doubles. Good. Work your ankles. And bring these once in a while. Smile. Come on. Five. Four, three, two, one, and go down. Again, this was now for me the right one in front. Left leg is straight, it's staying on the spot. Good, work low, low, stay, stabilize, stay in the center. Good, whoppa. more seconds. Stay low. Stay low. Good. Come on. And we come to the twisting. Twist. Last twisting. Come on. Twist. 30 seconds. Go with your arms together. Pen, pen. Really take your hip forward. Keep on walking your moment. 
Stretch your feet and roll them down. Relax your arms. Keep on breathing. Good. Shake up and shake your legs. Shake your legs and arms. Very nice. I think these were now three, three moments of repetition. I think we can do another three. But I see the time in front of me. It's again past seven. So I can tell you, we keep on continuing this. Maybe you want to do this still at home, doing it for another 15 minutes. Yeah? 30 seconds, you don't need anything more than a watch and keep on doing. And for our last lesson, no, session, for our last session on Thursday, I will prepare my favorites, <laughs> all of my favorite exercises for you. Ah, so we have to do two hours at least. <laughs> now let's see, we do a nice and juicy 30 minutes on coming Thursday for the last time. And then let's see what's going on, if there's control, if there's maybe not. We will see. I wish you a wonderful evening. Stay healthy, take care of your body, work. <laughs>